let me first uh, tell you how much I agree with the view that President Xi is among the most environment conscious leaders in the world today. He speak about environment, I think, much more than basically any other leader in the world. Uh, and that's so important because leadership from the top uh, is critical if you want to change. And you added you need the people to be with you and, and, to, and to force ahead. And, uh, among all his slogans, the one I really love is the slogan of a beautiful China. Because that can, of course, be translated into beautiful America, beautiful India, beautiful Germany, whatever. But it's a positive slogan. It's not about everything we should avoid, all the threats and fears. That is the uh, patriotic slogan of making your nation beautiful. And uh, it taps into the law for nature, uh, which every person feels, and translate that into action. And we now see that China is by far the biggest tree planter in the world. President Xi has promised that China will plant an area the size of Belgium every year from now to, now to 2030. NASA, the American Space Agency, tells us that the main reason why the planet is going greener, the surface of the planet is becoming greener, that is tree planting uh, in China. And you have amazing examples like Saihan Ba in Hebei province or Kupuchi Desert in, in the Mongolia. These were very dry, basically destroyed areas which are now going back to becoming green in a beautiful fashion. And you also see giant pandas coming back in Sichuan, snow leopards coming back in Western China, and by the way, also in Central Asia, all thanks to good efforts. So I think this slogan of capturing the love of nature and the beauty, that is very powerful, and Belt and Road can be used as a vehicle for that. Of course, Belt and Road at the core is a vehicle for investment to provide Chinese investment in railroads and roads or environment protection of solar energy, wind energy in the world. But Belt and Road is also an opportunity for people to people to contact right. and to learn from each other. And I think the slogan, beautiful China, which should translate into every other language of the world.